hydrated. Pouring my tea. I decided to make tea today because I have cramps and I'm getting my period soon and it hurts. Ow! Okay! I'm pouring some tea! Alright, I'm doing it! <laughs> Hi, Mr. Foxhound, who was first. I need to go get my coffee. Do you got your coffee now? Hi, Platty. How was your nap? Hi, Haster. Hi. I stretch, stretch, stretch. Tea? Oh, yes. It's, it's, it's chai tea with a little bit of rice milk in it. And it's yummy. Hello, quack. <laughs> what? Yeah, I brung tea today because I have cramps, which is a sign that I'm supposed to get my period within the next two, three days, and I'm not happy about it. I also brung myself a chocolate chip cookie because, again, I'm getting my period soon and I want chocolate. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Too much information about me getting my period? No. No, no, no. What? <laughs> Cryo said I could have my cookie now. <laughs> I will have a bite of my chocolate chip cookie. Mm. <laughs> you know, when, when people get their periods, they want chocolate. <laughs> also, we might be finishing this game today. Or tomorrow. It depends how fast it goes. And how many times I die. And how long the cutscenes are. <laughs> but we might finish it. Which will be crazy because we'll be finishing two games this week. Well, yes, Monday finishing Final Fantasy IX, and then even going back to last Friday, where we started Yakuza Kiwami 2. So it's like, we're on a roll with, like, this, this past few days, finishing games and starting new ones. It's the cutscenes and the dying I was worried about. I'm an expert, Mr. Foxhound. Have you not seen me? My tea is too hot for me to drink. Praise Bubba. Bubba's in the closet. Every time I stream, he goes in the closet because he gets he gets pouty at me, you know, for for taking my attention away from him. <laughs> okay. All right. Do I need socks? Do I need fuzzy socks on? I don't know. It's that weather that it's like between hot and cold and I just don't... I just don't know what to wear anymore. Uh, okay. Game. On. Just one sock? <laughs> that would work too. <laughs> Is the sound good? Let me know about your sound holes. And then we will start, and I'm kind of nervous. Cookie. <laughs> Aww. Snake, you're facing the wrong way. Grippy socks, they are grippy socks. Snake, I swore there was someone here before. Where'd they go? What are my buttons again? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just a box. There he is. I knew he was around somewhere. How far does he go? Oh, not very far. Not very... Get your butt over there. Why are you coming this way? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Pepe, 
Creepies forever? Creepies forever! Hospital sucks always! Mmm. He goes a lot of different directions, this guy. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Yellow. As the kids used to say. I'm not sure if they say it anymore. Because I'm an old baby and I don't know the new lingo. Oh. Okay, he's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, yellow? That's what the kid used to say. Sheep is like a time machine. I told you guys, we have to do a video one day where you guys all send me like memes and stuff and I have to react to them because I'm... Sorry, I have a cookie in my mouth. I'm very old in like... I'm very old man mindset. So I never keep up with like new words and new slang and like memes I know nothing about. Well, you guys could just send me all the things and just see how I react to them. Buy in bulk for cheap. Grippy socks. Mm, cookie. I'll share cookie, will you? Did he go over there already? Elder <laughs> grid set. I'm like an old man. I don't know anything about memes. Back in my day, we didn't even call them memes. They were just funny photos. Now they're called memes? <laughs> But honestly, we have to do a video like that one day. Watch Sheepy react to memes and keep her up to date on what's new because she doesn't know any of it. I'm still very much baby. Don't get me wrong. But I'm also very old man. I'm both. Old man and baby at the same time. I'm scared. Huh? Oh. oh, does he come in here? Does he come in here? No, don't come in here. Let me drink my tea and don't come in here. Several Metal Gear games have rants about memes. Do they? I only played Metal Gear 2 when I was a, a, a kid. This is my first time playing 1. Or playing... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, I only played 2 when I was a kid. I uh... yeah. mm. You chose death, sir. I hope you know that you chose death. I hope you're happy about it. Just saying. It's very stupid and poor decision on your half. Eh. Mm. What do you want? What What do you want? Tell me what you want. Tell me what you really, really want. Did you find it? No. I haven't found out about the override system yet. But I found Baker's ulterior motive. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? Well, that's part of it. Armstead is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in FBI spending. <laughs> it looks like there was even. Especially the one that was really really one. One of the 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 I wasn't listening to any of that. I'm sorry. Right there, that's why you're the best boss. 
have to find a short that isn't too old that have tons of random slang. I gotta make a, a thing on the Discord. Um for like a separate video. So it'll be like memes for the video coming up. And then in that one channel, you guys will leave all the things. Or even like slang words that you want me to guess what they are. And and I'll do a video on it. <laughs> It might be like a weekend video because my weekend video, like pop up videos, are non game related most times. But I, I'll, I'll probably do that. Uh. Mm. Snake. Everyone die. No. No. <laughs> no. I wasn't ready, but okay. Alright, Snake. Whatever. Ooh. Is that Ocelot? Okay. I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernerton, Russia? No. There's been a change. The new target is Lochnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the president will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the US's reputation? Or the presidents. And with the CTBT, that means that China and India. I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes. The president will break. He will give in to our I'm about to break. Big boss Sorry. DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars. That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Fox Dye. It killed Octopus and the Arms Tech president. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Hmm. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox die was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Golukovich, he's no warrior, he's a politician. He's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the man's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What do you say? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made. 
and we're about to ally with Galukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? <laughs> What's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours. What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, call this place Outer Heaven. Big Boss's dream. But boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden. If the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are <laughs> Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? We didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Beryl, she's alive. Snake, I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay. You see, the override system that the president was talking about, it can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah. You better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those mm. three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Mm -hmm. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First, I change the shape of the card, and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is riding. <laughs> We're just watching him. Yeah. No. Fell in the drainage ditch. Snake, this is bulletproof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. No, you first. <laughs> you first. You first. Snake, you've got to get that key. Mm -hmm. Well. Wait, let me talk to Chatsies first. Liquid? Yeah, it's liquid and also lots of Hi, CB. Hi, Zoe. I need a little room to breathe. Is that a part of the song, too? That I probably don't remember. Found slang thing is a breakup, so it is even more silly. Breakup. I don't know what that means. Clever key. Reverse do or no? It's a part of the song. I don't know. I just remember. And I want to step closer to the edge. And I'm about to break. That's it. 
That's all I remember. So every time I hear break, I, I think, and I'm about to break. Okay, what am I doing now with my life? Um... <laughs> Oh. <laughs> no, I killed. <laughs> oh, I scared you. Scared you. I'm scared you. <laughs> I thought you were gonna die. You didn't. Now you did. Ship ending breaking up, but it is a fake one. Uh, I, don't know, I still don't understand, but I will look at it later. Whoa, whoa. Really? You guys are gonna just keep coming? Do I just have to go all the way down here? I'm guessing this is what I have to do with my life. up here? Are you coming up? Do you guys not know where I am? Are you guys stupid? <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> they are stupid. Just keep running away. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I going? Probably all the way to back. Because Cryo said there's a lot of backtracking. And this is probably what he meant when he said backtracking. That I have to go all the way back down. I don't wanna come back down from this cloud. Sorry. <laughs> Taking me all this time to find out what I need, yeah. <laughs> cool, BGB, thank you. <laughs> and I wanna come back down for this cow. Taking me all this, all this time. Does nobody know what song that is? <laughs> Do only the old people know what song that is? I put it in the Discord a few days ago. Oh, uh, now it's a good thing Cowboy isn't here. Why? It's never a good thing when Cowboy's not here. What are you talking about? <laughs> Because you're gonna have to do what I did in Resident Evil 4 Remake. What's that? What did you have to do in Resident Evil 4 Remake that Kalbo was not happy about? Or happy about? I'm not sure. Is it anywhere? Oh, is it down there? Is it where the camera is looking? <gasps> no, 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 no. Yeah. Bush, yeah! I wanna collect them from this cow. Say, give me all this, all this time. Um. <laughs> Remember Bush back in the day? Um, wasn't he married to the girl from No Doubt for a while, and they have like a baby, and then they get like divorced. Because now she's married to someone else. She's married to some cowboy guy.
That was it. <laughs> Stupid cow moi. Oh, one way snake. I wanna do a save though, because I'm scared though. Quick save. Oh. <laughs> Karaoke stream when? <gasps> Did, was that the key? Was that it? Oh, it's just random things in the water. Oh, are there mines in the water? <laughs> that a mine? Just snake casually dying to really... <gasps> I didn't know! I thought it was just fun water! <laughs> I like water levels. <sighs> and I want to come back down for this clap. Then get me on it all this time. Oh. Did I get what I needed to get? Or do I have to go back in there? Oh. I... I got this key. Yeah, 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 that was it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nope, there's a specific something. In the water? Oh... What... What it's not good water... It's bad water... <laughs> it's like pee water... Oh, that was all I got... Was rations... <sighs> <laughs> Thank you, Galactica, for the bitsies. <laughs> never... Oh, never mind. If you got it, don't listen to me. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> but I listens to you. Darn sheep. Oh, darn sheep. <laughs> this is so sad. <laughs> oh, alright. I'll pour more tea. I have tea. Uh, oh. At least they gave me rations for it because they knew that you were dying. So they were like, here's the good juice for you stepping in pee water. So normally a rat eats the car key. He did not. E plus vodka? Oh no. I can't drink, you guys. I'm very tiny. I told you, I'm I'm lamb sized, so I can't drink because if I take like a sip of something, I'm already tipsy, you know. So I can't have a alcohol. And you have to snipe or use a oh, mouse. Praise Papa. He good boy. He good boy. Like a rocket launcher. Yeah, this game is... <laughs> well, he didn't eat it. Maybe I got it in time. Then I didn't need to kill him. No need... No need to kill the rats, those. They're cousins to the mouse. Do I have to go back up now? I'm guessing I have to go back up now because I have the key. But but Ocelot and Snake and Liquid, they closed the door though. How am I gonna get in? You do just put them in the fun water. Remember, enter keys left to right. To the left and to the right. Yes. You got it, boss.
I'm gonna do it from the right to the left. <laughs> I mean left to the way. Left to the way. Snake. Oh, thank you. Is he not there anymore? Okay. I'm doing quick saves because I'm scared. No. Shut up. I'm pressing the wrong button. No, 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 no. Oh, he is there. How come I didn't see you other time? Oh. Hi. Nice to see you. Does it not shoot him? No. So stupid. I don't know I can shoot him from a distance, but apparently not. Everything explodes. Hi, Jam Master. Very cute, very cute. Hi, hi, hi. Oi. Are they still in there? Mm. Oh, did I get a thing? What did I get? <gasps> oh, <laughs> you were the follow. Can I? Can I? Is. I'm glad you like me. Yes, they're very cute. They're very adorable. Um, do I have to do one of these things that make the cameras go off? Or would I mess with the computers? Because I might mess with the computers. Hmm, I don't know. Find out. You do know cryos. Hi, Humbo. They are my favorite ones, but I'm a Chelby Doer. Oh, very cute. Pryos mm. does know. He just pretends he doesn't. And I'm done. This one. Next one. Poster check. Oh, you're right. Sorry. No shrimp. Oh. Shrimpy, shrimpy. Okay. Shrimpy. That takes care of pal code number one. Shrimp with butter pal, and pal garlic. Freeze the key. Freeze the key? What do you mean, freeze the key? What do you mean, freeze the key? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I freeze the key? How do I freeze the key? Do I just put it in the other one? Yes, like Sonic. Remember? I don't remember. I rem Oh, I have to go all the way back to where... Oh... Stop it. What? Oh. <gasps> um. This one? 
<laughs> or maybe he eventually calls you or that, yeah. Mmm, bother. Stupid camera. Stupid camera. Oh. Mm. This one. And then... this. <laughs> hmm. Did it? Did the cutscene happen that I had to freeze it? Yeah, right. Or I'm pretty sure. Okay. I wasn't sure if I would just have to, like, look at it. Backtracking. Let's go. Like me all this all this time. <laughs> Stupid. Oopsie. <laughs> okay, so I have to go back to to where I fought that Raven guy. Which I think was down, right? I just want to make sure that's why I'm going this way. But I think I have to go down again. Okay. Yeah. Sheep is smart. Well, I do. Cause I ran past him and just made it that the, the thing made it so he forgot about me. And I went up the ladder. Mm, down. You have to go back where you for- yeah. Which I think was the place right before this. So it wasn't too far, right? It was it, it was a door that led us into here, wasn't it? Or something that led us into here? I just can't remember where. But there was something that led us into here. Mm. Oh. 
Not this way. Other way. Maybe it was a level up. Because I know there was a door. Or something that... It wasn't in the water. Up, sneak up. You passed it? Up here? Hmm. Or is it down there? Is this a door? Or is this not a door? No, there's not a door. There's floor. Oh. Maybe if I put my key card on, the door would open and I'll see it. A blind sheep who I am. You know? Blind sheep. Very hard of seeing sometimes. Hmm. This way. <laughs> this way. Yeah. Thank you. It's in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. What'd you say? Okay, I have to sign some papers. <laughs> what? What? Yes. When you live with people and the uh, lease has to get renewed, you have to sign your name on the lease. Oh, it's over there? That looks like a freezy door. That looks like a freezy door over there. This one. <laughs> Suckers. <gasps> I forgot that I did that. <laughs> Why is 
Joseph Fulton now? Please. Please. Ravens. How do I know when it's frozen? Oh, when my rations get frozen is when they get fr the car get frozen? <laughs> that makes sense, right? Hi, Bree. It's the matron of ravens. Like in Critical Role. It's campaign 1 that nobody knows what I'm talking about every time I start... Ranting about Critical Role And how dare you guys And I should force you all to watch it with me But there's too many episodes And the episodes are sometimes 4 hours long So no one's gonna watch it with me Is it frozen yet? Oh, it's not frozen yet mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the job snake. Oh, he gone. He's gone. Also, speaking about, I know we were seeking uh, the Spice Girls earlier. And back when I was a kid and Spice Girls were like a big thing. Uh, you, you know when you have a group of friends and there's like a new group out and you all assign yourself to a member of the group. And everyone wanted to be Baby Spice because she was like the cutesy one, you know? And, and I wanted to be Baby Spice because she was the cutesy one. And my other friend, who was like the pretty girl, uh, they made her Baby Spice. And... And then like... All the other ones, no one really cared too much about. Uh... So like, they just gave me Sporty Spice, and I was just like, eh. <laughs> my sister has all the Spice Girl dolls. <gasps> they were cute. I think I had Ginger. Because that was the other, the only doll that was not sold out was Ginger Spice. Remember the lollipops? Those were good. I always got the lollipops and they were yummy and they came with a little sticker. And they were delicious. I always got them the, like before school. Because we would always sometimes stop at a, a, a little bodega. The key is frozen. Oh, I turned blue! It is frozen. Um, we would start at, bo at bodegas and get snackies sometimes for school. Um, not all the time, but sometimes. And I would get the the Spice Girl lollipops. I wish they would still make them because they were very tasty. No, you gotta hurry before it dolls. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hurry up before you thaw. Snake! You're doing great. Thank you. I never tasted one of it. Oh, Is it because it wasn't around your, your time? Or is it because they didn't sell them where you live? Or... Or is it just because you never got one? Oh, <laughs> it's okay. 
And there's a few of those, like, old candies, uh, that I wish they still had, or that were still good. I mean, were good and I wish they, they still made, but they don't anymore. I just can't think of any others right now. Oh, you know? Okay. Okay. There was this ice cream. I probably... Let, no, let me do this first. Because I don't know if it thaws while I'm in here doing that. Oh. Can I do this first? Snake? Snake. Ocelot. Ocelot. Mm. Rally. Rally. Mm, suck off a lot. Mm. Also lot. Also lot. I mean, Alicon! Yeah, that one! Alicon! Alicon! Mm. Mm. Alicon! Alicon! Making all my life go down and I was all full health! Just make sure, but I'm wasting all of my rations. Mm. I don't like this. I don't like it. Actually, never mind. <laughs> Quick load. Okay, card is frozen. Yes. Yes. Okay. I just forgot to do the thingy again. Okay, but yeah, when I was little, there was this ice cream. I probably have to find a picture of it um, and put it on the Discord. But they came in little cups, right? And they were like uh, marketed towards Pocahontas ice cream. And they also had Hunchback of Notre Dame, also, but it came with like colored fruity ice cream, I think sometimes, or sometimes it was chocolate and vanilla. And it had like little candy pieces on top of it. And it was just really so good. It was so good. And they don't make it anymore. I forgot what brand it was, but I'm always upset about it because it was so yummy. And they just don't make it anymore. And there was also a Lion King one, but it was popsicles. And, um, the popsicles had, like, gummy worms in it. Because it was marketed towards, uh, Timon and Pumbaa. And it had worms in it because it was Timon and Pumbaa. I don't believe that moment happens in the cutscene. <laughs> I don't know. one I don't know where to go. Um, I don't think anyone remembers those ice creams very well. But yeah, it was... it was the 90s. 
I have to find a picture of them again. Because I always think about them and then want them and... And I think it was by Nestle. The brand Nestle. Okay. Cryos! I don't know where to make the key hot hot hot. Where will I make it hot hot hot? Tell me, Mr. Foxhound, please. I'm guessing I have to leave here again. At least that part, I think I know. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? You're nothing. Remember somewhere you fell that took a night house bath in? The, the bad water? The bad water downstairs? But that's where it was in before. A nice hot bath in? I don't remember anything I took a nice hot bath in. Not even in real life. My bathtub is not comfortable. I can't take a bath in it. I can only take showers. Not the bad one. <laughs> okay, that's not the... okay. Something will get out of... wouldn't get out of your way. I'm guessing I just have to go this way and... Eventually, when I see it, I'll remember. I'm guessing it's past, uh, the freeze thing. Hot water? Oh, he sent me something? What did you send me? Oh! The hot water. I don't know where that was. I'm guessing that was before... Before the freeze room. That was where we started disc 2. Quick save. Sooner or later I'm gonna run out of these thingies. I need more of these thingies. No. Okay, so it has to be upstairs. Right. Oh, it's not. It's downstairs. Right, there was nothing up there. <laughs> oh! Snake! Why did you freeze for a moment? Okay, quick look. Okay, I do have to go through the freeze room then. Oops, the wrong button. Excuse me, don't mind me. Got the shape the fast. <laughs> Whoa, there's people in here now? There wasn't people in here before. Um, this was empty. Hamburger. 
<laughs> I'd say they're Totsie. How are you? How have you been healing after your surgery? Has everything been good? Okay, there's people in here now. I'm not happy about it. It makes my tummy hurt. Nothing. <laughs> Hold on for ads, okay. You did last time, or is this a peaceful ride? I like peaceful rides. Mm. <laughs> Nothing. What? All the cons. Snake, oh. it's about Naomi Hunter. Yeah. Maybe you should talk to the Colonel. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the Colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good <laughs> friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Dye? No. Fox da, da, da. Dye. Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. I'm doing it. It's Care some package. kind of virus that, that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? Uh, stretching. It's too... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean, decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, apparently, Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure. But he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Did she though? She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do 
is leave it up to the colonel. I'm okay getting my stitches out today. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna go sleep some more, but shall lurk have a good stream if I don't get back. Have a good sleepy. Look at me, I'm a box. <laughs> I'm just a box. Making deliveries. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Oh, I can't even see them, I remember. Alright. There was a camera over here, yes? Yes. No, no. You love me. Oh, my me. I'm just a sheep. Up. Hmm. I forget my gun, which gun I was using. Quick save. Looking around to remember where I am. What? How can you see me from there? Bully. Bully. Cutie. I am. Thank you. Thank you for the cute sticker. Books. Books. I just a box. I <laughs> like how they put me in the middle of the elevator. After I just put myself in the corner. <laughs> Why? supposed to put it in the fire oh. how am I supposed to put it in the fire oh uh oh Is he coming downstairs? He might be. Oh, in here maybe? Oh, this one. Maybe I could put it on one of those steamy thingies? Maybe? Hmm... I don't know how I would go about doing that. Without getting myself hurt, you know? You're fine there? 
Oh, so I learned the right way is what he's telling me. <laughs> he's telling me I'm going the right way. <gasps> I did it! <laughs> I did the... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Do I have to run now? I think I have to run now. <gasps> Before they cool down, you know? A quick save. Oi. Up. Or down, whatever. I forgot which way it was going. Want my box again. This is my cozy spot. My box. <laughs> Game of all the box. This is it. <laughs> no, I was a to do the thing. Stop. You're stupid. I was doing it. Stop it. No grenades, no grenades. Hit me, please. Sheep, sheep, sheep! <laughs> I haven't died yet, I don't think. I'm a very skilled sheeper. So I want those things over there. I'm gonna go get them. I'm crawling because there's hidden claymores on the floor. See? Is there a camel? No. <laughs> but hello! We're at the end of the game soon. I think we just have to go up again. And I think we have a boss battle once we go up up. An elevator. Or down, I mean. We're not going up. Elevator go down. Elevator go up. Elevator go down. Elevator go up. Hmm. Let's go. 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 <laughs> it would have been cute if they had one of the ravens sit on the box. They only sit on the railing, but it would have been cute if they sat on me. What? Snake, can you hear me? Mm. It's Naomi. Mm -hmm. Naomi? What the hell? Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi, is what the colonel says true? Yes, but not everything I said was a lie. Mm. Who are you? I don't know myself. I don't know my real name or even what my parents looked like. I bought all my identification. But my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from. My, my age, my race, anything. Naomi. I, 
I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s. A dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long. Until I met my big brother. And him. Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier. When he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation and he shared his rations with me. Yes, Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Gray Fox? We survived that hell together, Frank. <laughs> Cloudy. <and I. laughs> he protected me. He's my one connection. The only connection I have to my past. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom. This America. And then he and my brother went back to Africa to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you, and I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes. That's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. Like some kind of twisted obsession. You still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? <laughs> I'll have my revenge on them, too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor, too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments? Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterwards, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Gray Fox... He's come here to kill me? I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. No. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox, no. Naomi, tell me something. About Fox Die? Fox Die is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages they begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then... they cause a heart attack? The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then... the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi... What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Naomi, I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Die. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Die as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. No, that's not the whole truth. Huh? 
the real thing I wanted to tell you was... Snake, I... I... Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Die was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job <laughs> is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? There's no time for me to admit that I'm the bad guy. Do your job, boo. <laughs> Colonel just run in and bunch her? I think so. <sighs> also, we don't have to worry about Snake dying. We know he doesn't die. He's in many more parts of the game. He's not dead. He's fine. That his brother Snook or Snick someone. <laughs> Is the card still red? Yeah, okay. Just wanted to make sure. Going back up. To be honest though, I don't exactly know like, everything that's going on. Like, I can't say I understand all of it. I'm probably gonna need her li I'm gonna probably need later to have Mr. Foxhound explain it to me. <laughs> because I think I get some parts of it, but not all parts of it. Hey, down. Down. That's okay. <laughs> I don't know if I understand. So it's gonna be like, Kryos, tell me the story about Metal Gear Solid. Thanks. <laughs> My Metal Gear Solid does happen to with a little inventory and memes. And memes. No. Activated already. Thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key. You got even bamboozled. the warhead for us, too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? 
We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device, and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake, so I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the, the encounter, thanks to Fox Die. You mean you had this plan from the beginning, just to get me to input the detonation code? Huh? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole? The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Ah, oh, poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake, that's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. Mm. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking to... Me, dear brother. <laughs> you've served your purpose. You may die now. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is this. <laughs> I like how he talks too. It's cool. It's funny. It's so stupid. This is like all those like animes and things where. Um. Sailor Moon, for instance. Where. She's obviously the same person. She looks the same. She just has a different outfit on. And no one recognizes who the person is. Or like... Even the enemies in Sailor Moon, sometimes they, they put like a hat and sunglasses on. And it's like they're disguised. And it's like, come on. <laughs> he let his hair down. That glow up when he takes off his glasses and let his hair down. <laughs> I like it, yes. <laughs> I like it. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So everyone who I'm working with is basically against me. Like, in some way or another. Other than, um... This guy who I'm about to call right now. But everyone else is just... Snaky. <laughs> See what I did there? You see what I did there? <laughs> oh, the con! Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You can't break it with an ordinary weapon. Can't you open the security lock here? I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. I don't have any minutes. <laughs> Oh, he actually has a line about that that I'm excited to hear. Not against using, everyone is using Snake. Snake is actually the least snakey. <laughs> oh, chat. You guys are fun. Let me out! Oh. Yes. I hacked into security. Snake, yeah. I'm opening the door. Do it. Okay. 
Did I just see someone run by? Did I just see someone be a snaky, snaky schnooksis? <laughs> Copy number one, liquid. The little music cue. <laughs> Oh my god, this game is so silly. So silly. So silly, silly, silly. Where'd you go? Come on. Like, did you like my stone glasses? Did you like my sunglasses? <laughs> You'd point a weapon at your own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? <laughs> so I could manipulate you more easily. And you performed quite well, I must say. I love that it's so Although bad. The boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly with no questions asked, you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a palm snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages, it was all just a diversion. A diversion? Oh the Pentagon my God. only needed for you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged, along with the bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread fox dye. Fox die? It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox die's program just before the operation, but no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be. But that woman is the only one who really knows. Anyway, it might prove to be unnecessary. Why's that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. It's true that the arms tech president and decoy octopus were killed by fox dye, but Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. A bug in the virus's programming? Hmm. Could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles. <laughs> You're fine. You got all the old man's dominant genes. I got the flawed recessive genes. Everything was done so that you would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. I was the favorite, huh? That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? But I'm the one father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Love? It's hate! He always told me I was inferior, and now I'll have my revenge! <laughs> you should understand me, brother. You killed our father with your own hands! You stole my chance for revenge! Now I'll finish the work that father began. I will surpass him! I will destroy him! You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you! Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes. Yeah. Snake, your blood will be the first to be spilled by this glorious new weapon. Consider it an honor, a gift from your brother. Now I'll show you the power of the weapon that will lead us in the 21st century. It's moving.
Also, what it's like being the favorite? I would never know. <laughs> hey, Snake, tell me what it's like to be the favorite. Um... It's hey! I like how they're supposed to be brothers or clones, but Liquid has an English accent. It has an English accent. <laughs> Maybe Snake would sound that way if he didn't smoke. We got the sheep boot and this thing's not so tough. It just looks so powerful. Really? Snake doesn't know either. Oh. <laughs> What's it like to be the favorite? I don't know. I am definitely not the favorite. Okay. So we're gonna do what I always do for the first maybe round or two of me dying is running around seeing what uh, what items are nearby because that gives me an idea of what i'm supposed to be using and uh running around to see the enemy's pattern if there is one most times there are it just depends on how long it takes for me to to catch on Hi tree, hi tree, hi tree. Okay, okay. We got a pause then. Da, da, da. Um, actually, you're my favorite. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I didn't know I would be someone's favorite. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, Rex, get Rex. Okay, let me pour my last cup of tea for Quack. Pouring one for quack, quack daddy. Yeah, that's the, that's my last cup in my thermos. My thermos usually holds like three cups, and then I finish them all. Sheep strats, yeah. Care package as well. I believe in you. You'll be here. I'll be here if you need anything. Thank you, Mr. Foxhound. Let's stretch. And uh, uh, this way, and get head pads. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm clicking. Clicking with my mouse. My mouse soup. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what this guy does. Oh, snake. Stinger. Ooh. Okay. Are they all stingers? like fireworks. What was a missile something? I couldn't see at all. All oh, those things don't protect you. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Those things don't give you cover. Try again though, just to make sure these things don't give me cover. Nope, they do not. And then that's another ration. Alright. So we are supposed to be using our stinger. This song is super sick. We're testing, we're testing, yeah. We're just making sure if I can hide it behind anything. I love Metal Gear. <laughs> okay. Let's 
thing. There's something I'm supposed to be hitting. Not sure yet. Oh, he does little laser thingies as well. Those are a little bit hard to dodge because they have such a big range. And Snake doesn't run quick enough that it just seems to always hit him. So I'm not sure... what I'm supposed to be doing for that. When it comes to like hiding out of his range. Oh, he got a few things, I see. Maybe staying super close to him is the idea. Because then he can't see under himself. It's just getting the time to shoot him might be hard. To try to stay under him and shoot him at the same time. Where'd you go? Okay, oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, that's me figuring out some things. That's me figuring out some stuff. Yeah, I just now realized your name is Metal Gear Reverend. Yeah, that's Mr. Foxhound! Although everyone calls me Cryos. Yeah, I call him Mr. Foxhound. Sheep smarty. <laughs> he learned much. Yeah, okay. Uh, there is no cover with those things on the field because they blow up. Um, the strat might be to be under him, but then I just don't know yet about what I'm supposed to be aiming at exactly, and when is my opening for aiming. Um, when he take- when is the, the time that he takes a break where Snake is able to aim and shoot him. Um... Because when I'm under him, I'm not really sure... Like, it, it kind of backfires at me if I shoot him while under him. Because then Snake also kind of gets hurt in it. Um... So that part, I'm not sure about yet. Is when I'm supposed to... Shoot him. Just staying under him, like he's a big dino. Hard... ...to know when I'm supposed to shoot him. I'm guessing when he lose sight of me, because you could see it turns blue. But then also, me trying to get out of his way 
far enough for me to uh, to shoot him. Okay, so those are not doing anything. So where exactly am I supposed to be shooting him? Because it's not anywhere on his body. It has to be a certain spot for it to hurt him. I just haven't realized where that spot is yet. And if you're talking to me, chat, I have not looked at you yet. Because <laughs> I'm trying not to die. I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing exactly. Because I haven't figured it out yet. I see there's a dot on the screen, which I'm guessing is the the spot that I'm supposed to shoot. It's just a matter of getting that in frame when I'm not in danger. I make it that he loses me again. And then when he does lose me, to make it far enough that I can shoot. Okay, he lost me. Oh no, he saw me again. <laughs> I didn't have a... I didn't have a ration on, I guess. Ugh. Mm. This insta load is so satisfying. <laughs> it is. Think of it as kind of like a dance. I don't know how to dance. This gear looks so cool. Yeah, take a big, big fell. Let me shoot you with rockets. You big doof dino. <laughs> If only there was someone that worked on Rex that can help you, hmm? The red spot, like, coming from somewhere interesting. Let her cook. Right. I've said enough. I like how it waddles. Okay. Bing. 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 you've got. Rex uses the latest advances in compound armor. The only way you can pierce it is with a high-performance heat round. So what do I do? Rex's pilot seat operates exactly like a VR system. It's got multiple sensors connected to a high-tech interface used for the controls. It's completely self-enclosed and shut off from the outside environment. He's not using his naked eyes? That's right. So if you could somehow destroy the sensors... Do you see that round plate on Rex's left arm? No. Yeah. That thing that looks like a shield. No. A radome. If you can destroy that thing, it won't be able to use its electronic equipment. So he'll be blinded. Yeah, try to hit that radome with a stinger missile. So that will stop it? No. Rex was designed so it can be controlled manually, too. Oh, great. The part that looks like a beak is where the pilot seat is. In an emergency, it'll open up. Rex's armor is perfect. You can't destroy it. You told me that already. But the interior is a different story. I get it. First, I destroy the radome. That will force him to open up the pilot's seat. Right. If you can shoot a stinger missile into the cockpit, you'll destroy the computer control system. You intentionally designed it with a weak point? It's not a weak point. I like to think of it as a character flaw. People just aren't complete without some type of character flaw, don't you think? I guess so. I owe you one, Otacon. Well, that seems like a huge oversight in the system. khan has got a lot to say. Something is incomplete without character flaw, don't you think? Hmm. Okay, so there's something. I gotta sneeze. I don't have to sneeze anymore. There's something on the right arm. That looks like a shield. Oh, wrong thing. 
I saw nothing. Can I just say? Oh. This thing. I see. I don't care. I just want to see how long it takes to destroy you. She goes, though we got a battle chat. She even got the unlock shot. She be a posy. What's the unlock shot? Oh no! Oh no! Now <laughs> we get the door and I try to pause it. Oh, how am I supposed to pause it? I can't get the door. We'll have to do a quick save in case I die. Hold on, but. Just a bit chat because she actually skimmed. <laughs> Cyborg Ninja comes to save Snake in big deal damage to Rex. Ninja reveals his past with Snake. And oh, I missed all of that. I skipped all of that. Oh, sorry. I thought I could pause, do a cutscene. Also, I have no more rations. 
Didn't think that there was gonna be a second part to the fight. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. Pushy things this yet. Yeah. I wonder what happens. You quick saved. I know. Hi, Booba. Okay, this is like the first part. So I have all my rations. Like, Bubba? No chewing things, baby boy. Baby boy. This is the beginning, yes, first battle. Because... I think I'm gonna have to do the first one over. Because I went into the first one thinking this was, was gonna be the only part. And maybe I have to do this first part a little bit better so I'm not using all of my rations to get through it. Because I'm gonna need rations for the next part. So it might be a good idea that I don't do this so recklessly because my human nature is to go into things recklessly and punch things without caring about my health. Which is how I go into many video games. It's like, I wanna punch and kill the things. What? I'm dying? I don't care. I wanna punch it. <laughs> so... It's hard for me to get out of that mindset because that's how I, I want to do things a lot of the time. Is I want to punch it! I don't care that you tell me I'm dying! Okay, how can we do this a little bit more smartly? I don't know yet. Which is why Shape got taken by a ghost. Yeah, what it to say. <laughs> okay. Alright. First shot though. Okay, quick look. Can't even hide behind those things. Okay. Alright. The foot stomp is this to kill. No rations bring you back from that. Booby! Do your little dinosaur yell. Go ahead. There you go, little dinosaur baby.
Do your missiles. No, 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 no. Do your missiles. I need you to do your missiles. Please and thanks. There you go, buddy. No. Oh. Do your missiles, buddy. Do your missiles, buddy. There you go. Up, up, up. Oh, I can't reach you. Do your missiles, bud. Do your missiles, bud. Go ahead. Missiles, bud. Oh, come on. Missiles, buddy, come in. You saying it missed? Missiles. Missiles, missiles. Missiles, please. There you go. Missiles, please. Thank you. You pointed it out too. There's absolutely no reason Rex should sound like a dinosaur except for the fact that it is badass. She learned to dance. <laughs> she is doing it. I'm so proud of her. <laughs> Yay! Foxhound is proud of me. <laughs> I'm getting so hype. Whoop. <laughs> I figured it out though. I'm my own. I'm a gamer. <laughs> okay. Come on, Mr. Dino. Mm. 
damn it. When it doesn't go high enough. Shoot me. Let's go. Hate it. Can't see on that side. Let me go get this ration. Is it... was it the one I just passed? I'm not doing so good this round. Okay. Never mind. Never mind the ration. One more time. One more time, one more time. Really? Oh. Okay, we get to see the cutscene now. I won't pause it.
Impressive! You are indeed worthy of the code name Fox, but now you're finished! Uh, no! My other stinger! Fox! Can you really shoot? You'll kill him too! Now, in front of you, I can finally die. After Wait. that bar, I was taken no good. from the planet. I can't do it, no. Neither can't truly do alive, it. nor truly dead. Snake! An no good. I can't do it. In a world of light. No, but soon, I can't do it. Soon, it will be. Snake! No, I can't do it. He was gonna die anyway, Snake. You could have took that opportunity. I talk to Chatsy. She's a gamer. Did you not know? I see if you did go home with her. I missed you too. Did you match check for one and food check also? Talbo. It sounds better than deep through. <laughs> Meanwhile, Rex in liquid blasting everything blind. Cool. Yes, I know, right? A cornered fox is more dangerous than a jackal. No, I can't do it. No, I can't do it. No, I can't do it. <laughs> Sneaky is uncooperative. Wow, round two. I'm scared. Round two. Snake! Snake! Okay, 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 okay. Quick load. Oh, I saved instead of quick loaded. Oh, this is gonna be the same situation again, isn't it? Same situation again, isn't it? Let me get the other one. Let me get the other one. Let me get the other one. <laughs> Nope.
<laughs> A hole. Thank you. Can you move a little bit closer to that to that other ration? Can you go forward a little bit more? No. No problem. You ready now, boss? All right. I see you. Or I gotta shoot you though. I don't know yet. before maybe missiles and then shoot missile me missile me Yes, paper boo. Yes, paper boo. Oh, we like it. Oh, thank you, Richard. Good seeds. <laughs> Snake on the run. It's more the same, just new spot to aim. Okay. The things that. Hi, <laughs> baby. Lunch time? Snack time? Digs. Baby dig. Yeah? Okay, hold on. Let me reach out. That thing's got a lot of missiles to store up all the missiles. Sneaky sheep. Yeah. Sneaky using half curse words always gets me to. <laughs> Nuclear launching, walking battle tank. Can't look straight down. No. He's like a piggy. Piggies can't look up. But it's down. You're doing fine, honey. <laughs> How's the boss fight going? It's going okay, though, but I don't have any more rations. So... <laughs> How's it gonna go from here? I'm not sure, beast. But we gotta take a break. Bubba has told me it is snack time. Uh, I don't know if there's anybody new in chat today. But Bubba is that little baby sitting right next to you. And he is seven years old. And at 2 p 2 p.m. Eastern, which is my time right now. Uh ow. Ow. And I'll get more water quack. Yes. Uh, I I feed that boy. And he gets snackies. Ow. Quack. I'll pee and get more water. I drank all my tea, so I have to get water now. Uh so yeah, I gotta go feed Bubba. If you have to pee, or if you have to uh, go get a snack yourself, or if you gotta do meds check, you know, meds check, cowboy, um, go do that. It'll take me like two minutes to get him something to eat, sirs, and then I'll be right back. I'm hoping we can finish this battle, because I don't have any rations left. <laughs> I would have to not get hurt from here on out. Uh, in order to, to probably beat him. But, we'll see. Let me go feed this baby. Bubba, where are you? Oh, you right there? Hi, Papa. You ready for snack time? Yeah? Yeah. Bubba, say yeah. Okay, I'll be right back.
I'm back. I'm back. Like in the the is it Chucky who's like I'm back? Um. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Praise Baba. Hydrate, hydrate. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, hydrate. Here she be. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not child's play. That's oh, what's that thing with Jack Nicholson? That that movie when they're with the little boy, The Shining. Yes, Red Rum, Red Rum. That one. I don't watch movies very often, and I don't, cause I don't, I'm not really into movies. But, I do like Child's Play, Chucky movies. But not, not when it start got getting silly, you know? Like, one and two are good, I think. Three was good. Can't remember. But like, you know, F, you know, the, it started getting silly later on. But like, I think the original three were good. Those are my favorite movies. I could watch Child's Play 1 and 2 with Andy. Uh, you know, the one with Andy and then the one when Andy goes into the, the foster home. Over and over again. I love them. Uh, whatever movies that I like. I really like The Lost Boys. Another favorite movie of mine. I could watch that multiple times and quote it every single time. Death by Stereo. Um, <laughs> what else do I like? I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's it. And those movies are very old. Like, 80s, maybe? Early 90s, if anything. But that that's the only movies I like. <laughs> okay. Am I gonna win this game? Lurk, you have that lurky. I'm just running around. Trying not to die. Not doing a good job at it though, boss. Bend down. Bend down, you know I'm too short. Ah, quick load. Where did I save? Where did I save? I have one ration. Okay. And I didn't hit him yet at this point, I don't think. You are, I believe! <laughs> Where am I? Okay. Don't step on me. Rexy, turn around. You going? I'm not gonna go in the corner, Rex. So turn around, because I'm not gonna go in front of you. Because you're gonna back me in the corner, and I'm not okay with it. I'm not okay with you backing me in the corner. That's a little bit better, Rex, yes. Can you come around this way? There you go. You're doing better. I'll help you out. I'll help you out. There you go. Did it too late? No. No. 
no, 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 no. What are you gonna do your missile? I was getting ready for the missile and it wasn't the missile. Oh. No, might have to do this over. Quick load. They'll turn eventually. You put baby in the corner. Never put baby in the corner, no. And I'm baby. Don't put me in the corner. You do? Don't get greedy, sheep. <laughs> I almost got greedy. I almost got greedy. I had to stop myself from getting greedy. I don't like this corner. Can you turn around? It's better when I do it from this angle. I don't like doing it from that angle. Good job, boo. Did you finish? Oh boy. Eh. Mm. My aim sucks. <laughs> no. Well. Wanted, now that you're reminding me of Dirty Dancing. Yesterday I was in the mood to listen to the Dirty Dancing soundtrack. And I did it. And I think later I'm gonna do that. <laughs> that soundtrack was pretty good, you know? I wanna listen to the Dirty Dancing soundtrack. Turn. I wish I could whistle at him. Be like, hey, come here. We're like a big frog. Yes, Booba. He meowing at me. The boy meowing at me. Yes, Roosh. Damn. When he's not low enough. Where's Bubba? No. No, no, no. Yes, Bubby! Where are you? Bubby! Mr. Wu, what happened? Oh, <laughs> why? It's not like Dante? I know, but this is not that kind of game. This is not Dante. And it doesn't, it doesn't, it didn't, it didn't hit. It didn't hit.
Yes, buddy. He's having a temper tantrum, you guys. He's having a temper tantrum. He's not going to go lay down. He said no, mom. I think you guys can hear him because I have my mic settings where it doesn't pick him up uh, when he meows. But he he's doing it and he's having a, a baby temper tantrum. Which I might have to pause and go get him because sometimes he does it so much that he ends up trying accidentally hurting himself. Ugh. You're so close to figuring it out. Well, I'm guessing it's to dodge the laser running back and then aim at cockpit. Oh, quick load. Okay, let me get this boy. Let me just let me just get this boy and see what happens with this boy. Tell them. 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 Tell you want to sit in the chair? Ruru! <laughs> oh, I know, but you're a bad baby. Go ahead. <laughs> Miss Thor. Go lay down, okay? Everything is fine. You want your fishy? Your fishy toy? With your fishy toy? Where's your fishy? Look. Hey. Everything is fine. Don't have temper tantrums and try to pull the doors apart because then you're gonna get your clawsies stuck. And then your clawsies are gonna rip out and you're gonna hurt yourself. Okay? Are we all right now? Ba ba. You want me to open the window for you? Would that make you happy? Okay, we open the window for boob. Open the window for boob. Come here, booby. <laughs> okay, he has his fishy. And he has the window open now. Let's see if that distracts him. Ooh. Did I miss purrs? No, Bubba's having a temper tantrum. He's not having a purr fest. He's, he's meowing at me because he's angry. I went pee pee boo boo check. Did you do, did you do meds check? Okay, what the... Wait, 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 uh, Cryo say, dodge the laser running back, then aim at cockpit. I'm thinking we actually have to finish this next Wednesday in food check. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I wanna kill them.
And I'm not going good, boss. I'm not going good, boss. Darn it. Can't hit him from the side. I'm trying to cheat it. You know? And cheats it. Hey. <laughs> Again. Get out of there, snake. <laughs> yes, but you're upset. Lose me again. Lose me again. Lose me again. Where am I? I think I figured it out in the sheepy way. I think I figured it out in the sheepy way. It fools me again. Oh no. Where sheep will go? Which way are you gonna turn? Snake. Snake, come on. Lose me again. Hey, Cryos. Can't see you yet, but are you proud of me? <laughs> proud of me? I figured it out in the sheep away. Sheep, uh. 
I'll get him. I'll get him. <laughs> Snake. I'll crush you into dust. That was much easier. <laughs> I'll reach that in a bit. I won't die as long as you still live. Too bad. It looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you've destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I am done fighting. Fighting? What are you really after? A world where warriors like us are honored as we once were. As we should be. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish. <sighs> when he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. But things... Oh, are different now. With all the liars and hypocrites running the world, war isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. A world that now spurns our very existence. You should know that as well as I do. After I launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, we'll be able to bring chaos and honor back to this world gone soft. Conflict will breed conflict. New hatreds will arise. Then we'll steadily expand our sphere of influence. But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? <laughs> Isn't it reason enough for warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You lie. So why are you here then? Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? Why did you come here? <clears throat> well, I'll tell you then. You enjoy all the killing. That's why. What? Are you denying it? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? Th that was... <laughs> I watched your face when you did it. It was filled with the joy of battle. You're wrong. There's a killer inside you. You don't have to deny it. We were created to be that way. Created? Les enfants terribles. The Terrible Children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model was the man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. Big Boss. But Father was wounded in combat and already in a coma when they brought him in. So they created us from his cells. With a combination of 20th century analog cloning, and the super baby method. Super baby method. <laughs> they fertilized an egg with one of father's cells, and then let it divide into eight clone babies. Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus, and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. You and I were originally octuplets. Octuplets? Baby. The other six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even born. 
So it was you and I. Two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But they weren't finished yet. They used me as a guinea pig to create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed to create you. I got all of the recessive genes. You took everything from me before I was even born. But you and I aren't here. This is like me being angry at my uh, other siblings for taking all the boob genes and leaving me with none. But they're different. They're digital. With the completion of the human genome project, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. Thanks to Father's DNA, they were able to identify more than 60 soldier genes responsible for everything from strategic thinking to the proverbial <laughs> killer instinct. What? The they took all the boob genes. The the and they left me with none because I was the last one that came out. So I didn't have any boob gene left. <laughs> That's right. The genome soldiers that you've been killing are our brothers with the same genes as ours. The genome soldiers? That's right. They are our brothers, created artificially through the alignment of nucleotides to mimic our father's genes. They too are the product of numerous sacrifices. Sacrifices? Human experiments! 1991, the Gulf War. The military secretly injected soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about was a side effect of it. Ha! Everyone knows that the Gulf War syndrome was caused by exposure to depleted uranium used in the anti-tank rounds. <laughs> that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. First, they tried to say it was post-traumatic stress disorder, then chemical or biological weapons. The poison gas detection units and the anti-serin injections, they were all just a cover-up of the secret genetic experiments. So then, the so-called Gulf War babies that have been reported by Gulf War veterans are... Yes, they too are our brothers and sisters. So the genome soldiers mean that the experiments were a success? Success? Don't be a fool. They're a complete failure. We are on the verge of extinction. What? Have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory? Nature tends to favor asymmetry. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem. Signs of symmetry. So do I. As do you. That's right. We are all on the verge of death at the genetic level. We don't know when or what type of disease will occur. That's why we need the old man's genetic information. You want Big Boss's DNA so you can save your family? It's very touching. In nature, family members don't mate with each other, and yet they help each other to survive. Do you know why? It increases the chance that their genes will be passed on to a new generation. Altruism among blood relatives is a response to natural selection. It's called the selfish gene theory. You're telling me that your genes are ordering you to save the genome soldiers? You can't fight your genes. It's fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. Drink every time he says jeans. Ready? Break the curse of my heritage. He does have a lot to say. Do that. First, I will kill you. Is there more? Oh. Look behind you. No. Is she alive? I'm not sure. She was alive a few hours ago. Really drunk? <laughs> kept calling your name. Meryl. 
They're not wearing shirts. Oh, Next, they'll take off their jeans. Have <laughs> I have a name. No, we have no past, no future. And even if we did, it wouldn't be truly ours. You and I are just copies of our father, Big Boss. Let Meryl go. As soon as we've finished our business, we're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Die. No. It seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed. They've arrived at a decision. They won't even need a BDA. If you want the details, why don't you ask your precious Colonel Campbell? Ring ring. Colonel, can you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. What is the Pentagon trying to do? Colonel, answer me. The Secretary of Defense has taken over active control of this operation. He's on his way there by AWACS. What for? To bomb the place. What? Not only that, B-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air Force Base. They're carrying B-6113 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. What? Metal Gear is destroyed. Tell the Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox Die. Now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really happened here. He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. How? I may only be a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. But, Colonel, if you do that... It's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Those bastards. I'm sorry. They forced me to cooperate in exchange for her life. You better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you, after all the lies. Colonel. I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. What? What are you doing? What? Snake! Mei Ling, what happened to the Colonel? I don't believe it. What happened? Snake, the Colonel! She punched Roy him. Campbell has been relieved of duty. This is the Secretary of Defense, Jim Houseman. Put the Colonel back on. He's been placed under arrest for leaking top secret information and for the crime of high treason. Ridiculous. Yes, he's a ridiculous man. He truly believed that he was in command of this operation. You bastard. There won't be a speck of evidence left. I'm sure the President would want the same thing. The president ordered this? The president is a busy man. I have complete authority here. How do you plan on explaining a nuclear attack on Alaska to the media? Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device. Smart. You'll be murdering everyone here. The scientists, the genome army, everyone. Donald. The DARPA chief is already dead. So, you didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all. He was my friend. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh well, that's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't be allowed Don't to tell live. You my well, the dirty bombs will be secret. dropping soon, Don't tell and you two have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> There's no way out for us. Let's finish this before the airstrike. You stole everything from me. 
Only your death can satisfy me. Only your death can return to me what is rightly mine. She'll make a beautiful sacrifice for our final battle. Do you see this? It will be the time limit for our final battle. This nuclear module is set to detonate at the precise moment of her death. There's more fighting? Don't tell me there's more fighting. If you win, you might still be able to save her. You could enjoy one brief moment of love. If you cross this line, you fall. At this height, it will kill even you. How about you, snake? Now it's a punchy, punchy fight? <laughs> Let me read chat. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Dodge the missiles, then dodge laser, then aim. You could try just aim really high up and file. Yes, dude, I'm so angry I couldn't clip that. <laughs> when didn't you get the clip? Clip it later. You got this, the big dip bitch. Yay! I had to make it home, girl. Yay! I know you can do it. Yay! <laughs> Sleeping in as usual, eh, snake? That's why you don't make a walking tank. Also, hello. <laughs> Hi, real gut. Late pool. Clearly has something to do sometimes since I played solid. Oh, joy, Lord Dump. This stuff only means something to me, the geek. No, I'm listening to the story. Soldier jeans. Gas mask. Gotta have to say, you know, I'm Rachel. You're not here, okay. <laughs> Colonel looks mad. I mean, Merle's there. That makes sense. 70s baby. You see, gotta kill him and gain his powers like Mega Man. Mm. Yep, and another sequence. Have at you. Good thing she beat is the punchy puncher. I know Mega Solid it is long, but then it's longer than expected. That like 20 minutes of dialogue. <laughs> I don't know if we should keep going. Maybe if it's a half an hour more, then I can do it. I don't have any any gear on. Nothing. Oh, did I press something? Oh no! What did I press on my game? On um, my retro arc. What did I press on my retro arc? It froze. And it said, oh, and it says not responding. I think I might have to close it. Oh, close the program. Let's open it up again. Let's see. Emulation. Metal Gear 2. Oh, quick load. Have at you, snake. Okay. Mm. How's it working? Mm. If you think that's bad, Medicare for is. Literally just a movie, Har Lady gameplay. Your shirt had all your gear, apparently. <laughs> see you next Wednesday, everyone. <laughs> I want to see if I can do.
No. What's wrong, Snake? Nice shot. Better hurry. It's going to blow. Better hurry. No. I mean, real PlayStation 1. Yeah, everything is working. You could get him in the stud... Uh, socket bop bomb. Think of hitting the punch button like one two one two one two one two, Or do it the sheepy way. <laughs> sheepy way. The sheepy way. The... Press the button... Every time. How about you, snake? Oh. <laughs> 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 What's wrong, Snake? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, not going good. Not going good. Okay, 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 okay. How about you, snake? Baby in mid fight, baby in mid fight, no way could do it. Live the king. Thank <laughs> you. 
three. Thank you for coming. It's always nice to see you. to fix that redeem because it says good job in the beginning but it's very low i have to make it louder i gave into my fear i'll hydrate i'll hydrate i'll hydrate i sold your life to save my own i'm a loser i'm not the hero you thought i was i'm nothing oh shush snake i'm sorry Hi, all the kind. Meryl can't forgive anyone. Good job! <laughs> Thank you. All the kind. She's gone, Snake. Because of me. I guess blaming yourself makes it easier, huh? If you do that, you can keep the pain at a nice, safe distance. What the hell do you know? Meryl's dead. I've lost. So, are you going to stay here and die, along with her? Snake, people die, but death is not defeat. That's what Hemingway said. I lost Wolf, too, but that wasn't defeat. She and I will be together forever. We didn't lose anything. Together forever. It's true that Wolf is dead. But our love didn't die with her. Life's more than just a game of win or lose. Don't you think? Let's live, Snake. There's a parking garage right next door. We can get to the surface from there. Come on. There's a Taco Bell right next door. We could go get some tacos. I released all the security locks. It'll be okay. We can escape. You have my word on it. Otacon, you've changed. I'm through regretting the past. <laughs> Life isn't all about loss, you know? It started. Those guys. Seems like they only hurry when they're destroying things. Good. Let them destroy it. But they can't destroy the human spirit. Okay. Let's go. You're still watching me. Maybe I can prove myself to you after all. Come on, hustle! Snake, it's cold outside. You'll freeze like that. My sneaking suit. You better hurry! Hi, Titanium. Da -da -da. You look like yourself again. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's more? 
I just want to finish this game, you guys. <laughs> That's all I want. Finish this goddamn game. I'll drive. Uh -oh. Surveillance camera. Darn, no keys. It's a lot. I got him. Let's go. Where? How do I get in? I got it. Oh, come on. Is this gonna be one of these things now? I don't play shooter games. And then he... Every time he gets shot, he gets stunned. And then he stops. You did it, Snake. Yet, Snake. Oh, come on. It's Just keep shooting, just keep shooting, shooting, shooting. What do we do? We keep shooting. That's what we do. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Snake! Oh. 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 Let me see. Last sequence of what you're doing good and not to place itself. You just have to shoot us. All the con has to read his diary to you first. <laughs> you, they know I, I came. Yeah! And know oh, this wasn't the game. <laughs> good job. You... Not yet, Snake. It's not over yet. Oh, it's liquid. I can tell because he's not wearing a shirt. Oh, wow. This looks hard to aim. This is fucking cool. Small left to right movements. Just move the gun left to right. <laughs> I'm going over my time limit, you guys. 
Because I'm trying to finish this game. Oh, snake. I'll drive. Uh -oh. A surveillance camera. And the ending is long as well. So you saying we should finish it next Wednesday? We finish it next Wednesday. And... How long do you usually go for? Three hours. And it's three and a half now. And I usually have to like... Cook... An hour after stream. So... It's like... I'm gonna be very tired. <laughs> what the ending dialogue is like 50 minutes. So if anything we could just watch it later. Okay. So this is what I'm thinking. We finish it... Next Wednesday. Um, we could start it on Wednesday. Um, it'll take like 30 minutes. Hi, Zoe. Okay, so it's either this. It's either... Yeah, and then you can start Dino Crisis too. Yes, it's either I... We continue it on Wednesday. And then right after we start Dino Crisis 2, which I already have downloaded. Or, depending on how I'm feeling, we finish it tomorrow. I'll stream the same time I usually stream during the weekdays. And uh, maybe depending on how I'm feeling. Um, what do I have to get done this weekend? I don't think me and Platy are going to be working on much this weekend for behind the scenes stuff because he needs to rest. Um, so the only things I'm going to be working on this weekend is maybe fixing that praise redeem because it says good job in the beginning, but it's very low to hear. You can't hear it. Um, so I might be fixing that this weekend. I always upload all the YouTube, all the VODs and clips to YouTube on Saturday as well. I also clean my room on Saturdays. So, depending on... Yeah, Platy, you're staying in bed. Don't you worry about the thing. So, Saturday, I have to clean my room. Uh, upload... All the VODs and clips to YouTube. Then maybe possibly fix that redeem. And then possibly, depending on uh, how I'm feeling after all of that, then maybe stream and finish this game. Mm. Can you fix me and clean my room? I could pay in food? I don't know if I... It depends on what problems you want me to fix within you. Because <laughs> I can't fix everything. Uh, and sure I could clean your room. I'm very organized sheep. I'm very good at organizing and fixing things and throwing stuff away that you probably aren't using and they're just keeping just because you yourself can't throw it away. I'm gonna throw it away for you. <laughs> uh, so depending on tomorrow, how I'm feeling, because I usually get a, do a lot done on Saturday and plus I also have to... Um, I, I now have that VTubers with Disabilities Twitch page. And I'm trying to add everybody from the VTubers with Disabilities Twitter list. I'm trying to add all of their Twitch accounts to the VTubers with Disabilities Twitch account on Twitter. I mean on Twitch. Whoa, okay. Too many words. Okay. That, let's repeat again. <laughs> I have a VTuber with Disabilities Twitch page. And I'm now trying to go through the Twitter VTubers with Disabilities list. And follow everyone's Twitch on 
the VTubers with Disabilities Twitch account. And that's going through a thousand plus people. Um, so I'm also doing that a little bit this weekend as well. Um, a lot of, like, a lot of things get done, man. A lot of stuff. Why do I have so much stuff I have to do? <laughs> Don't you dare touch my things. I'm not gonna throw your things without your permission. I'm just saying, sometimes people... Don't forget to quick save right here. Okay. Quick save. Sometimes people save things that they don't need or even use. I need the box from eight years ago, though, just in case. No! Yeah, you're a box hoarder, Platty. You gotta get rid of the boxes. I'm gonna throw all the boxes away. Yeah, I need to Marie Kondo a lot of stuff. Yes! If it doesn't bring you joy, and you haven't touched it or used it in a very long time, we get rid of it. I think about your worlds, or else people will forget, forever hold it against you. Like, red, believe me, I know <laughs> what. Think about your words, or else people will forever hold it against you. What do you mean? Well, they're the plans <laughs> mom already did. Oh, I like doing this, but it all brings me joy. I like decluttering. Me too! But what if I need... You didn't touch it in forever. You don't even need it anymore. You probably forgot it was even there. We have to get rid of it now. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. I just don't... I don't like things, like, you can have stuff in your space, but in my space, I don't like things if I'm not using it, or if it doesn't bring me completely joy. Uh, I don't like keeping it. <laughs> I know exactly what's in the box over there that's been moved, that's been through three moves. But do you need everything that's in that box? Do you love everything that's in that box? Yes. <laughs> then fine. Then you get yeah, You can keep it. If you need everything and love everything and use it, then yes, I'm not gonna make you get rid of it. It's just sometimes we have things that it's like, okay, I haven't worn that in like two years. Why, do we, why is it still in my closet? I have a very small space that needs to be like that everywhere else. Must keep the things. I don't need it right now, but soon. <laughs> no. No! I don't know. You're seeing behind. I know, I want to fix all of it. It's a mess. I'm not like minimalist, but I'm a little bit minimalist. Like, I still like my things. And I still have cute things around. And I still have like books and stuff. And little figurines. So I'm not completely minimalist where they have like completely nothing. Um, but I, I just don't like clutter. And uh, a lot of things in my space. Because it makes my brain feel cluttered. And I feel like if everything is cluttered, then you can't see the important bits. Because it's covered by all the other bits. You know? I'm gonna go in lunch. See ya. Have a good lunchy. Let me get your leftovers, sheep. Go make lunch. I gotta make dinner soon in an hour. So I'm gonna go rest. Everything is functional here. I wanna fix your wires. I wanna fix your wires, Platty. They're messy. Go make dinner. I need a rest first. So I'm gonna end stream Z first. And then I want to make a sandwich if I have enough energy. It's gonna have tofu. It's gonna have teriyaki tofu in the sandwich. Yeah? Teriyaki tofu. And pickled onions. Sleepwalk dinner. No. 
I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sheep. <laughs> I'm tired now. Okay. Is there anyone I gotta raid? Cryos, are you gonna stream? I'll send everyone to you. Or are you not gonna stream? Is it your day off today? Nope, nephew swim day today. <gasps> He's gonna go splish splash! Turn on the audio sleepy sleepy more. So no stream. Okay, so let me send you guys to someone else then. Um... Hmm. How long has Whimsy been on for? An hour. I think I'll send you guys to Wim Wim. Miss Whimsy. My little Whimsy ears. Bye, child. Bye, GP. Bye. I'm gonna send you guys to Whimsy. For everyone who is still around. And I will see you depending tomorrow or Wednesday for this game. Again, reminder, Persona 5 starts on Monday. And... yeah. I'll let you guys know on the Discord what I'm gonna end up doing. Because I'm not sure yet. Again, I have a lot of things I have to do on the weekend. So, depends on how fast it gets done. And how much energy is still left over. <laughs> um, because I would like to finish it. But then also there's no rush. We could just finish it on Wednesday and start uh, Dino Crises right after. Yeah. So I'm gonna go. Uh, I think it's only sending 8 out of 11 people. So that is fine. And... Yeah, I'm gonna go rest now. Thank you for sticking around. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.